Hi guys, so today me and my sister are here in Boston and we're going to be walking the entire Freedom Trail from the beginning until the end. Yeah. Do you go? Don't let it go. We would walk on the sidewalk. Innocent, remember? All we did was get from each other. But the night was warm. Walking, thinking of somewhere that we can stop to get um, something to eat. Um, well, like so, yeah. And we just went to a bookstore. Uh, yeah. I didn't want to film in there because there was so many people and it's so small. Yeah. Rare books too. Rare books, rare maps, stuff like that. Yeah. Signing off. tavern look how small it is you can see how the cement 
shows the boundaries. For context, this is me walking across the house. That's so small. So today we walked the Freedom Trail, and the Freedom Trail is a 2.5 mile path that goes through Boston, and it passes by 16 historic locations that are significant in American history. The path on the Freedom Trail are marked by red brick, and it goes the whole length of the trail. By just following the trail, you get to see you get to see a ton of historic parts of Boston. The trail starts in Boston Common, which is more in downtown Boston, and it ends at Bunker Hill Memorial, which is where we are right now. So my family loves to shop and we love to take our time. So today while we walked to the Freedom Trail, we didn't just stop at the historic locations, but we stopped at um, a market where they were having, they sold a bunch of fruit and vegetables. We stopped by a bunch of bunch of touristy stores. There's so much stuff you can do along the Freedom Trail that isn't history. So there's definitely something for everyone. The Freedom Trail is definitely one of the most popular things to do in Boston. So if you're doing the Freedom Trail, definitely expect to be around a lot of people. Some places like try to upsell a lot and like make you do the tour, but it's definitely not necessary as long as you get a map. And then at each individual like like place they have information there so like a tour giving you information about each stop really isn't necessary because at the place they will have it thank you for coming along with me and my sister to visit the freedom trail in boston it was super super fun and it took us about how many hours about three hours about three or four hours but it was worth it there's a lot to do here whether you like history or not Really like shopping there's definitely something for everyone yeah don't forget to comment like and subscribe to space explorer sam her videos are awesome and then i have my own channel called ashley nijone a-s-h-l-e-y n-a-z-h-o-n-i definitely subscribe to her because she makes really awesome videos too yep bye, bye.